module, uh, which is technical analysis for stocks. So directly we will learn from Mr. Vishnu Chakraborty uh, that how we will choose a stock and how we will do a technical analysis for that. I know this topic is very very interesting because uh, we will see live because thirty minutes are with us when market is live. So we are trying to show you the live market as well as do the technical analysis of any particular stock. Uh, keeping in mind, I don't want to waste a single minute over here. We want to start right now. So the session is now handed over to Dr. Mr. Vishnu Chakravarti. Sir, Thank it's you. over to you. Thank you, Zubair. So very good afternoon, all of you. So last day we have seen a type of charts that is bar chart or OHLC, and another is a candle. Today we are uh, going to start with a very new topic. So my screen is visible. Yes, sir. So when we are going to buy or sell a stock, we need to watch something. So we are coming one by one, and this is the live market is uh, in front of all of you, where the prices are reporting within each and every five seconds. So last day we talked about Sipla. So this is the real. Time chart, and right now we are seeing the chart on thirty-minute basis. Means par candle or par bar is for thirty minutes. So what we are seeing, this is the last day, twenty-second Feb at two p.m. The stock price give a upside movement, and this is. It's the twenty-third. This is the fast candle. Whatever the understanding we have, uh, can you please tell me from nine thirty to three dot zero four, which kind of candle or which kind of bar it is? Last day we talked about from from where from from nine thirty. Just see the screen. Correct. See the screen at the extreme right hand top. This particular candle is for thirty minutes, and the candle closes at nine thirty. And right now it is three point zero four. Correct. What kind of formation this particular stock is doing? Anyone, please. What is them, sir? So actually, time is not visible. Uh, I'm not able to find out the time. Where is the time? Nine thirty. Now, extreme right hand top. Extreme. The date, then time, then open high low close. Okay. Yes, nine thirty. So, what kind of bar it is, or what kind of pattern it is? Very correct. Inside, right? Huh? It's inside. inside, inside handle is going on. So inside. last day, what we have learned, if it is inside, then we can simply put two lines, one of the top, hmm. and this is the bottom. Now see the chart very carefully from nine thirty to till now. Sipla is unable to break the range of nine fifteen to nine twenty two, correct? <clears throat> If it is correct, then again we have to focus on the Darvas. So, the what can be the probable target for Sipla? There is nothing. Nine twenty nine. Nine twenty nine. 
Very correct. There is nothing but the price gap in between. Uh -huh. So when a trader like to trade on an intraday basis, then definitely in this situation, we don't have any opportunity to buy and sell until and unless it is going to be bridge any one side. Now, now we are coming with trends. The most important part in the technical analysis, that the analysis of trend. Sir, uh, can you please tell me what is a very basic understanding of trend? It's not, uh, forget about the, we are sitting in a technical sessions or we are uh, going to relate it with the, you know, capital market or any, any other thing, realistic examples. What are the trends? Sir, sir. What is going to happen? What is going on and what is going to happen in near future? That is trend. Okay. Can I add a single word in your sentence? That is, what is majorly happening, correct? Uh, majorly, yes. Majorly. Uh. So if the majorly, say for example, if all the green candles, uh, if we a stock is already created, means what? The trend is up or down? Definitely up? Correct? Sir, before starting this, Actually, yesterday there was a time shortage, so you cannot describe the candle actually, candlestick. So, is it Correct. possible to describe candlestick for five I will, minutes? I will, I will try, yes, because the subjects are too interesting and the times are very, very limited, sir. But mm. I will try, I will try. Then it will be easy for us to recall also. Mm. Okay, okay, I will try, sir. Mm. Now, in trend, we have uptrend, we have downtrend. And apart from these two, another is referred as sideways. Uptrend means what? When the majority of the candles are in the upside. So how to form the uptrends? Say for example, if I'm going to draw like this. This is a classic example of an uptrend. So we can easily tell, okay, find the stock price are going upside. But what are the logics? What are the uh, formulations behind that? So for the uptrend, when a stock is able to create what highs? The higher highs and higher lows, then only we can refer it as an uptrend. So if you put the price points, so for example, this is 100, this is 140, this is 120, this is 170, this is say for example, 140 or 140, and this is 220. Means, after a certain time frame, we are able to see the stock price went up from 100 to 140, come a bit down, again create a high, and which is greater than the previous high, and again fall a bit, not to the not to 120 level, and again went up. So that can be a very very good example of uptrend. So when we are going to buy the stocks, when the stocks are in the uptrend, and what is the downtrend? The complete opposite of that. It's a complete opposite of that. So it is a example of a downtrend. Means what? The stock is able to create the lower tops and lower bottoms. Any query anyone have? No, sir. Actually, where you are written 120, we can see there is a E. E bar chart actually. 
Yes, well, sir, this uh, chart is uh, not associated with this, correct? I'm just okay. opening the chart and I'm just uh, going to describe what is uptrend. Okay, okay. okay. Correct. Okay. So for the downtrend, what can be the theorem? When a stock price is able to create lower tops and lower bottoms. So for example, this part is 300 rupees. This low is 250. This is 270. This is 220. This is 240. And this is, say, for example, 200. So the first one is a very complete example of uptrend. And the second one is a downtrend. So when we are going to buy the stock, when it is become very cheaper, correct? So every time, whenever we are going to buy the stock, we have to identify the trend first. Then we are going, we have to draw some trend lines. Now, what are the trend lines? How to draw the trend lines? For an uptrending stock, if we are going to add the higher lows, then it is nothing but a uptrend line. It's very clear. Should I repeat? Uh, it is higher low or lower? It is the lower portion, I think. Rindam, sir? Yes, sir. Just see the price points, correct? 120, 140 is greater than 120? Yes. So, whenever a stock is in an uptrend on that time, we have to consider at least two points where the higher bottoms are there. Okay, okay. Correct. At least two points we needed. Number of points can give us more and more confirmation about our trend lines. And for the lower part, we are going to draw by considering the lower tops. Once the price is able to break this uptrend, means what? The uptrend is no more warranted in the market. Now it can be a beginning of a downtrend. So if I am holding a stock, if I am able to draw a trend uptrend line, and when the stock price is able to break up my um, trend line, so here we can get out from the stock. Clear? So anyone have any questions? So, it, uh, it can be fall down actually. Yes, I yes, very correct. Once the trend line is broken, uptrend line is broken, then what we can assume that can be the beginning of a downtrend. So, if it is a beginning of a downtrend, then definitely our right hand side picture must be followed in the market. Means what? The price will rise up small portion in a very small portion and it can fall in a very big portion correct and if it is true then the lower tops and lower bottoms can be seen so we are not going to hold the stock we are going to sell it out but when we are going to buy when a stock is formed you know the lower tops and lower bottoms and from this particular price point if the stock price is able to break my trend line, then only it can be a buying opportunity. That's because I am getting the same stock at a better rate. And downtrend is no more warranted, means we can assume that it can be the beginning of an uptrend. Any query anyone have? Then what is sideways? Sideways means when a stock gets stuck into both of the prices, neither the range is got broken, the stock is hovering in between two.
So this is a example of a sideways movement. Now in a sideways movement, we are unable to take any 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 call as because we don't know what is the thought process of the BPS, whether they are selling at 120 or whether they are buying at 100 level. So we have to wait for the decision part. That means in, in here, if 120, 140, then again 160, then it, it, it will be sideways. Correct. And now, sir, and, uh, very, very, very interesting part we are. Now see the CPLA chart very carefully. What CPLA have done today? It went up. As you pay, Calm as down. Uh, again up. Again coming here. So we are not getting any such opportunity to trade in CIPLA until and unless these levels are going to be broken. Okay. Very clear. Any queries? Anyone have? Now, how to draw the trend lines? So today, This stock, Crompton, this stock gives us a very good movement. So I am enlarging the time frame from 30 minutes to daily. And as well, we are going to we are going to convert the convert it into the line chart so how to draw that trend for buying opportunity we are going to consider the lower tops and we can draw a trend line but if you enter into this smaller part very smaller time frame. Two day itself. Crompton gave us the opportunity. You see, this is the top. This is the lower top. So here the buy will appear at three thirty. Means what? The stock is ready for the next day's move. It was a downtrend and the stock break the line. Exactly. And here also, so see the uh, entire thing in a single chart, we are able to find each and everything. Now see, I'm going to draw two more lines. So if the stock is entered into a sideways mode from 17th February, Correct. Till 22nd February. So last five days, the stock is hovering in between the price of 390 and 393 and 384. And ultimately, on 22nd Feb, 1115, the stock price is able to breach the lower side. So, sir, what can be the target? Four zero five. Sorry. Four zero there is, is three nine three at the top. Here it is. Mm -hmm. And three eight four. What is the price gap? Approx ten rupee. Ten. So if the price is broken at the lower side, so what we can anticipate or expect that the price will fall ten rupee further. So it can be very close to seventy. 74. Stop loss. No, sir. It's not stop loss. When the stock price is able to breach, so I'm going to get out from the stock. Yes. Correct. And above 74, as per the theorem is concerned, when the stock price is able to break 
above 374 and give a closing, definitely we can again buy with a target of again 384. And if the stock price is able to break 384, then again 393 can be established. And in the upside, once it is able to break 390, so this gap can be seen. And the stock price is already given both of the target in a single day. Here, any query? No one have any query. No, sir. sir, whether it is understandable or whether it is become very, very boring or something like this thing. Can you please explain this uh, once more, sir? Which part? Uh, last one. Last That's one. Me. Fine. Fine. So here, 393 was my top, previous top, correct? And 384 was previous bottom. And why the stock over into a five, seven days in between 394 and 384, that is 10 rupee gap. Once the stock price is able to break either or side, then definitely 10 rupee can be seen either or side. As per the Darvas is concerned. Clear. So when the stock is able to break 394 or 395, definitely I can uh, take a buy position with a target of 40, uh, 403. And above that, 403 plus again 10, 413. And right now the stock is trading at 409.95. That is very close to our target. Very clear? Okay, sir. So now coming up with another chart. Good, let's see. So this is a good bridge CP 15 minute line chart. What I can do, the stock price is falling. So I can again draw a trend line for my buying opportunity. This is a top, this is the another top and we adjust the line. So when the stock price is able to breach, my this trend line, that can be my buying opportunity. And today, 10, at 10.45, the stock price is able to break the trend line. Clear? And now my question is, say for example, the trend line is broken, we have got, where to sell? So for the selling part, this is the low, and this is the small low, but it is also a low. If the price is able to breach this, this line, then no more upside prices can be warranted in the market. It will fall. So what can be my trade setup here? I have entered whenever it is going to be breach, I'm going to get out. Here. No, sir, can, uh, could you repeat uh, it? No, for the buying opportunity, we have to consider the lower tops and lower bottoms. Correct? Okay. So here, the lower tops formation can be seen. So what I, am, what I have done, I'm just considering only two points and able to draw a trend line. So if the stock price is able to break this downtrend, means what? That can be the beginning of an uptrend. So we can opt for buying. Clear? Yes.
so today our content is types of patterns so in market different different uh, technical analysts use their different different uh, type of you know analysis someone is very very comfortable with patterns someone is very very comfortable with uh, indicators those are complicated uh, very very uh, easy to work with oscillators but each and every either it can be a pattern or it can be indicator or it can be oscillator they have their own meanings so in patterns we have two kind of patterns one is continuation another is reversal so continuation means what a stock is in uptrend on the uptrend this formation we are, we are already noted means what when the pattern is become completed again the stock price can go further upside that is nothing but a continuous pattern in upside as well as in the downside means what the stock is able to create lower tops and lower bottoms gradually coming downside suddenly the, there can be a pause in price fall and a pattern is going to be created once the pattern is over again the stock price starts falling that is basically the continuation pattern stands for and reversal means what if ever we have seen in the top means at the top top uh, highest side of the chart then it is very very obvious that the stock price will come down but in downtrend if we ever we found the same thing means what the stock is no more in downward now it can give a upward movement So, dear all, can I ask you one thing? That is, a trend line is very clear. How to draw a trend up and down? The logic, basically. Yes, sir. Sir, one thing is there means uh, how many tops we have to um, uh, we have to mention okay. in okay, fine. Fine. trend line. I got it. we need at least two tops and if we are going to extend the line if further tops are going to be adjourn automatically means my authentication of my trend line is perfectly okay but two points are required minimum otherwise trend cannot be set either it can be upside or either it can be downside So now okay. we are coming into. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Hmm. Okay, sir. Thank you. No. There. This is a basic shape of a continuation pattern. So the first picture, if we see, in the first picture, the stock price went up, come a bit low, again go very, very, very close. the previous stop again fall again go again fall. now see means what this is nothing but a resistance for the stock means the stock price is unable to break so whenever those price are coming out in screen no one is willing to buy means what majority of them are willing to sell and the stock price starts falling so whenever we are going to find the ascending triangle means what we have to keep in our mind that the tops are almost same and the bottoms are higher bottoms higher bottom is means what i am just going to draw a trend line this is for what trend up trend the tops are same means what in this zone the supplies are huge but the stock is not able to break my upside trend line if the stock price is able to break this zone means what the stock price again enter into the upper side so for our uh, basic understanding what is ascending triangle means what whenever we are going to see some tops very similar tops 
and the bottoms are rising, we can refer it as an ascending triangle. So ascending triangle is basically comes under the continuation pattern. Means once the price is broken, then definitely it will go up. Now, but in a contrary, the lower line is my trend line, correct? The stock price can violate this also, breaking the trends. If it is going to breach the trends, means what? The new prices are no more warranted. The trend line is broken. It can be a beginning of a downtrend. So if it is a beginning of a downtrend, then it will fall, again rise, again fall, again rise and again fall. Now what about, what about the descending triangle? In descending triangle, if you see the picture very carefully, this is the formal formations. The stock price fall, went up, again come very nearby, again went up, again fall, again went up, and now again it is here. From this part to the end part, the prices are reported, the lower tops and almost same bottoms, correct? When the tops are lower tops and the bottoms are same, then definitely we can draw a trend line for my buying opportunity. Say for example, this is a 350. So this 350 can act as my support. Means what? Whenever the stock price comes very close to 350, the enthusiasm of the sellers are become very less. But the enthusiasm of the buyers are become huge and they send the price at the higher side. So in this particular formation, 350 can referred as a support where the stock price will come hit again back. Any queries? Anyone have? Like in uh, ascending or descending? Now our next part is flag. So if I'm going to draw a flag, the flag will look like this. So I'm trying to show you the flag in real chart. Let's see. So we have drawn a flag like this. It's because it is a continuous pattern. Once the flag is able to break the upper side, it will go further upside. So here is your flag pole. And here is your flag. And if 
I've already got another pattern. What kind of pattern it is? Descending. Very correct. Descending. Very correct. It's a descending triangle. And the point two is nothing but a buying opportunity as a trend line is concerned. Correct. So whenever the stock price is able to breach, we can take a buy call. And this stop is also my resistance from where the stock price starts correcting. So that can be my target from here to here. Now I'm converting the line chart to candlestick. Let's see. Very clear. No. What is the signal of a flag? Sir, if the upper part is going to be broken, means what? It can again go upside. Anyone have any query? Dear participants, if you have any question, then you may unmute your mic and you may ask directly to sir. Now, this is nothing but a head and shoulder. Very, very effective pattern that I'm often looking for. So I'm going to draw and going to read the uh, formulations. The stock price go up and fall. Again, start going up and bridge the previous high and fall again. From this point, again went up, but unable to cross the second peak and starts falling. So basically, this is a example of a head and shoulder. So this can be my left shoulder. This can be my right shoulder. And this can be head. Once the stock price is able to break, this is because this is nothing but a support. Whether buyers are more, But in the terminological part, whenever we start talking about head and shoulder, the support can be referred as neckline. So once the neckline is going to be broken, means the distance from the head to neckline can be my target. So well in advance in market, we can fix our target if we are able to catch these kind of patterns. So anyone have any query? So probably in Sipla, I think I've seen the head and shoulder.
Yes, sir. These patterns are effective in derivative also. Cipla, no Cipla is not a good one. Last day. Anyone can uh, able to see a head and shoulder pattern is formed in Mariko. Reading a high, reach the high. So this can be the neckline. Once it is able to break, the distance from the head to neckline can be my next target. And after that, we can just follow the valves. Anyone have any queries? So I'm going, going to draw a trend line. So here it can be my buying opportunity. After that, again one line to identify whether I am with the stock or not. So we have to short sell also. If we are holding the equities, we can sell it out also. Already we have touched the uh, trend lines. Now we are coming uh, one by one of the rest of the content. Now my next content is simple moving average or SMA. So normally, what is the uh, what is the calculation process of moving average? That is, we are going to consider the datas, and we are going to divide it by the number of the data points. So we can get the average. So simple moving average means what? An average which moves when it can it start moving when the old datas are going to be dropped off and new datas are come into place. So this is a very, very uh, common indicators for the traders. Uh, even I'm also uh, very, very uh, carefully watch simple moving average or uh, any other moving averages to assess whether I am in a correct trend or not. So a simple moving average is simply the average price, usually the closing price over the last n periods. So for example, if I have five days data with me and the figures are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is the five days closing price. So what we are going to do, we are going to add it up 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 divided by five. So the 12 will come out. As today, 23rd February market over. Means the new details are become available. Now, what are the new details? As because we are going to derive the five day simple moving average. So the data point must be 11, 12, 13, 14. And say, for example, two data closing price is 15. 
So what can be the what can be my uh, moving average price? That is thirteen. Any query till now? Anyone have any query? No. Means, if out of five days, majority of the days, if the closing prices are the higher side, so can we anticipate that the value of the moving average will increase? And if majority of the day, the prices reported at the lower side. Then the value of the moving average can be decreased. Clear? Okay. Now we are coming up with a real danger. My screen is visible now. Nah? Yes. Here I have considered a thirty-day simple moving average. Correct. And I am going to narrow it down. Now, by using the moving average, how can we buy and sell when the price is? Are above the moving average, and the tilting of the moving average <clears throat> sorry, is also upside. The on that time it can be a very good buying opportunity. In this particular area, this area is very very crucial area. See why? This is nothing but a supply zone. Where the players are not inclined to buy, correct. And this is the area where the enthusiasm of the sellers have become very very less, and the price is able to break four twenty six, and on that particular day, the value of the moving average is. Four two seven, sir, madam, please check it at the right hand side top prices. The SMA is value of the SMA is written there. Four twenty seven. Four twenty seven. So the stock price is able to break the multiple tops, which was act as a resistance. Now the stock price is above that, and the price is above the moving average is also means what? That can be the very good opportunity for buying. How long I am going to hold the stock until and unless the stock price is going to be breach my moving average? So here the trade setup must like something like this. So here I am going to take my buy call, and here. I am going to book my profit and get out from the stock. Is because the price is below my moving average. So, in other words, can I refer one line that if we see the moving average very carefully, then definitely if the price is above, the prices are above my moving average, means the moving average is act as in support. Correct. And if The price is below the moving average. It can act as a resistance. This is the point where the moving average starts reacting as a resistance. The prices are start falling. The tilting of the moving average is also downside. Here one is this is the one point. But the stock price is tried to breach breach the moving averages, but failed to do. Starts so falling. So whenever 
we are going to buy and sell based on uh, either it can be a pattern, either it can be any other indicator or slates. Many technical uh, research analysts guys, they just cross it by putting some moving averages. So whether their process is correct or not. Any queries regarding moving averages? Anyone? So for taking the movie and moving average, how many uh, days we have to uh, select? That means is it fixed? Or uh, in answer, it depends. It depends for how long I am willing to hold the stock. Okay. Correct. Okay. If I am going to hold the stock for a prolonged period, then definitely my 10 day moving average is not, it's not work out. Correct. As because 10 days, nothing where as because I am looking for two years, one and a half years. Correct. Okay. Okay. So depend on that. Okay, fine. If this is the question, definitely I will answer it up. No issue. So those are the short term traders. Now I'm giving you an answer. If you are a short term trader, you can opt from 13 days to 30 days of simple moving averages. Okay. okay. If you are a mid term trader, means I'm going to hold for three weeks then it must be 30 to 50. And if you are a long-term investor type, like one year, one and a half year, two year more than, hmm. then it can be 100 to 200. Why? And these are all in that daily format. Why? Why 200 SMA uh, can give you a very, very clear picture about the stocks? As because we have 365 days in a year. Correct? Right. Saturday, Sunday markets are off. So how many Saturday, Sundays are there? 52. Correct. In Into, two. Into two. So 104 days passed out. Mm -hmm. 14, 14 uh, holidays are there. So it will very, very closely, it will come at 200 days. Mm. Means these data points can give you for a one year perceptions, correct? But if we are going to take a positions for five days to seven days or 10 days, and if we are going to plot 200, definitely it will not work out. That's because 5%, 7% upside downside is nothing better in front of 200 SMA. Is because on those times it has become very very less responsive. Mm. Okay. Now, the most most easiest part: how to take trades in technical. We can plot more than one SMA in our system. So here, SMA 30 is already plotted. Now, I'm going to plot another one. Simple moving average. So here, I'm just putting 13 days. And my color is this. Click on OK. Get apply. So now the price points are same. Two two moving averages are there. One is thirteen, and as thirty. So can uh, anyone can uh, tell me uh, which moving average is more responsive than other? Which one? The thirty or thirteen? 30 is more responsive, sir. Devaji, sir, 30. Shoibal, sir. 
When a shorter moving average, when a shorter moving average cross the longer moving average from below and tilting towards upward in this point, that can be a very, very classic buy. And this buy in can be referred in the world of technical as a golden crossover. So when golden crossover will occur, when the shorter moving average crosses the longer moving average from downward toward upwards, then we can take a buy call. Very clear. Means in this example, the golden crossover happened. Means opportunity to buy. And when they shorted, is because it is more responsive rather than 30. When it will come down, the dead crossover can be seen. Means opportunity for sale. Here again, the dead crossover we have seen and the stock price starts falling. So whenever we are going to put one relatively long, one relatively short, more and more accuracy will come out. But uh, please remember one point, when the market enters into a sideways movement, then definitely your moving average is not going to be worth. So moving average is basically worked out on when the trend is already established. So never try the moving average when a market is entering into a sideways movement. Any queries anyone have? No queries, no one. What in them, sir? No, sir. No query. Now these basically double tops and double bottoms, they are basically a very, very unique tool for the traders. So the basic difference from double tops to head and shoulder is what? In between the shoulder, uh, the head is nowhere. Only the shoulders are there. So in a double top, so that can be the previous resistance for the stock. It will come down, again hit very nearby and again starts falling. Means what? Neither in past days nor in even today, no one is ready to buy the stock beyond that particular price points. So if ever we saw this kind of double tops, then definitely it can be opportunity for sale. We are going to sell it. It's because it might fall. If it is start falling, then definitely the lower part is also support. If the support is going to be breached, definitely this price gap can be seen as my target. And what is double bottom? The double bottom is also very simple. The stock price starts falling. Create a low, went up a bit, again starts falling and come very, very nearby, very, very nearby to the first bottom and again starts in inclined upside. Means neither the older days, the sellers are inclined to sell at these price points and not even today. Means what? In these particular price points, the enthusiasm of the buyers can be more than the sellers. 
and the stock price will start rising up. In the last five, seven days fall, what I have observed basically, most of the stock create the double bottoms. Most of the stock. So, take a look one or two. So, for example, here is a very good example of that. So, double bottom. Here is an example of a double top. Here is the same, the double top is there. So whenever we are going to see this kind of double tops and double bottoms, we can react as per the theorems are concerned. Um, go through the CP. So if this one and this one are double bottom, then what we can refer to here? So we can refer to it as a triple bottom. Means these are the buying areas where we are going to buy. Any queries anyone have? Uh, it means for a double bottom, we have two opportunity to buy. Yes. Okay. Putting my stop loss below support. Targets. Okay. Now, if a trip in this picture, a triple bottom forms, I take a buy position here. Correct. So what can be the target? What in terms of what can be the target? Primarily this is because during this time frame to this time frame, the stock price is unable to breach the previous highs. Correct? Mm -hmm. So here, the double top is also already seen and triple bottom is already seen. Clear? So the, that this can be that can be my fast target. Sir, clear? Yes. Yes, sir. So there are so many ways. There are so many ways. So that is confusing actually. No. If majority of the ways give you the same word, same target rather, then definitely we opt for buying. Correct. Definitely. So what are the, uh, what are the procedure you personally apply actually? Majority, you said majority of the trend analysis. So, what are the are you applying simple average or exponential simple. average or top bottom? You are looking okay. for all, all, all of this. All of this. This is, I, I don't know uh, whether uh, you no know technical well, but if we, once you get into this topic and practice with for a month only, all the mm -hmm. things. All the things is become very very clear in front of you. You may not even willing to put you know any kind of oscillators on the charts. Mm. Right now it is getting confusing. Actually. Yes, a bit. But uh, sir, uh, that part is clear. Na golden crossover and date crossover. Now, now we are coming into rounded tops and rounded bottoms. How it will look like the stock price went up, starts falling. In the lower part, double bottom may form, may not be like this. 
and again it will end up. So this is a very, very classic example of our rounding bottoms. So if this kind of rounding bottoms we ever found in the church, we have to wait for the breakouts. And if the breakout is with a higher volume, definitely what we can anticipate, the distance in between this can be my target at the upper side. <clears throat> and rounding top, these are just opposite of that. Stock price went up, unable to sustain, gradually start declining. Here is the support. Once it is able to breach, then this gap can be the target and terms it. So again, going to open a chart. Uh, let us find the tops and bottoms. Rounded top. Dear participants, please keep your mic mute until uh, it is required to unmute. Sir, please. Okay. Now. So this is my probable buying area once the stock is able to break. And if it is so, the target is in this. And which is very easily noticeable that the stock is already created. Anyone have any query? No query at all. So in technical indicators, we have a lot of indicators with us, hundred of indicators. Out of hundreds, uh, three, four, I will sharing uh, with you now, right now. So the first is MACD. That is moving average, convergence and divergence. To make it very simple, what is basically MACD? MACD is nothing but it's a two to moving average. One is comprises of 12 days, another is 26 days. And the average of 12 and 26 is nothing but a nine day moving average. So let's see how it works. Study MSD.
So my first average is twelve, and the slower average is twenty-six, and the signal length is nine, and the moving average type can be simple, can be exponential. Okay. This is all the contracts. Five minutes later. Now see. So this is nothing but a MACD. It is moving average convergence and divergence. The same theory applies here also. When the shorter moving average is above my longer moving average, there can be a buying opportunity. When the shorter is crossed the longer from the above, this point can be my selling opportunity. So, what is the what is the so the signal length is nothing but the zero line. Zero line is what the ninth. The average of both twelve and twenty six. So here again, a buy call will generate. But the most uh, you know, a lot of people they uh, referred the moving average is uh, or the MACD is a lagging indicator. That's because it is considering the averages. So until and unless out of thirteen or thirty days, majority of the day, if the stock price is not moving upside, so the crossovers cannot be seen. Very correct there. But here in the moving average, we have another very very good point. If you see, there are some green and red bars at the very close to the zero line. So these bars are referred as the histogram. If we are going to use the histogram properly. We can identify the stocks either for buying at a very early stage, or it can be for the selling purpose at a very early stage. Say, for example, here is the value of the histogram. The stock price is falling. The date cross is also already here, and the stock price starts declining. So, what is the value of the histogram? It is minus. Twenty-three point twenty-five. Correct. Next day, the value got increased. Means what? There is there is no question about buying the stock as because the minus part is increasing in histogram. Then when we can opt for buying when the minus part is got reduced. This day the histogram is still thirty-five. If you see this day, it has become thirty-four. This day it has become twenty-five. Means what? Still, our MACD is not giving any buy signal, but the histogram they are giving the plenty of you know examples that we have. That the histogram can tell us well in advance prior to the golden cross or dead cross. Either it can be in a moving average or a MACD. Clear. Excuse me, sir. So. Yes, yes, ma'am. Please. Sir, I just I I haven't understood when you are talking about the histogram. How you have made this calculation of thirty-two and that thirty-four? Ma'am, basically, this is at twenty-six and twelve days moving average. Correct. And we are considering both of the moving averages. We are considering with a signal line of length of nine days. So nine is the average of twelve and twenty-six. Both of these. So if the value of the moving averages start declining, then definitely the value of the histogram is also at the greater side in the minus part. Correct. Yes. yes. But once it has got stabilized, or it is unable to create a new low, and hovering in between, then definitely the value of the histogram 
cannot be increased in negative part yes, correct yes so when we can take a farm by call when see here it is minus 23 here it is minus 29 here it is minus 35 and this is minus 34 means what the minus part is become lesser means what the stock is not willing to come further downside so we have to wait another day and here we can take a buy call but again okay sir okay. minus 25 histogram the same and why is it in the tops so for example this is your histogram value there is 19.89 the next day 23.61 next day 26.23 i am very 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 comfortable to hold the stock until unless the value of the histograms got deteriorated here it is it has become 24 so if i have already bought i have to get out clear ma'am okay sir okay got it uh yes devashi sir uh, if we are going to change the msd from 12 or 12 26 we can put any number of days but if we are going to put any other days now the purpose of the msd is not going to be solved so anyone have any query no sir now our next part is relative strength index or rsi so rsi is basically a oscillator so there is a very very major difference in between an indicator and oscillators oscillator means what which oscillates within a range correct so whatever the oscillators we have in technicals so they have their own scalings from 0 to 100 so the lower part is 0 the upper part is 100 why we we are going to be use the rsi to gauge that whether the stocks are overbought or whether the stocks are oversold so definitely if this 0 uh, to 100 scaling measured the overbought or oversold so there must be a zone so the zone is 70 at the upper side and 30 at the lower side so it can be 70 30 so it is 0 30 this is 70 and this is 100 and now this is the rsi so when it is come very close to 30 means what the stock price is already very very near to the oversold positions so if i am holding the stock then definitely i am going to hold is because the prices are already corrected so i'm not talking about whether we are going to buy we can buy but definitely first word will come out like this way we are not going to say sell our stocks as because it is entered into a oversold territory now in likewise a stock entered into this territory where the value of the rsi is greater than 70 say for example 75 means what it enters into a overbought territory means whatever the number of people have actually thought to buy the stock the more and more people are really bought it out means what the valuations the prices are become very high right now so if i am holding these stocks so what can be the next possible uh, trade 
So if it is traded at 75, we are not going to sell. Why? Because up to 70, we can went up to 99.99 also. So when we are going to sell? When it reacting from 75 and start coming downside and the value of the RSI is below 70. Now we are going to sell. Means now the market is going to give some reactions. Now the price can be corrected. So likewise, in the 30, when the RSI is 30, if anyone opt for buying, that can be a disaster as because from 30, it can come down up to 0 0.001 also. Correct. Means stock price can fall further down side. So on that time, we are not going to buy. When the stock price is able to break, break 30 level and give a good closing, then only we can opt for buying. Very clear. Anyone have any questions? No questions, anyone have? Anyway, so let's move on the real charts. Here we are going to consider the number of days by default, it is 14. Correct. And the overbought is 70 territory and the oversold is 30. And once I click and apply, a single line appear. Now see very carefully the value of the RSI extreme right a bit lower at the value of the RSI is 67.74 means what it is very close to 70 so in this particular price points we are not going to buy here is the area but the value value of the RSI is 28.89 say for example 29 means what this is the price point where the stock is entered into the oversold traded means but there can be a bounce. This time also the same thing happened very close to 28.80 was the value when it is able to cross 2030 tilting towards upward again a buy call can be seen. And for this stock this is the number of occasions where the stock price is able to hit 70 it starts falling. One, two, three, four. And that is another reason that in technical, we referred one term that history tends to repeat itself. Any queries regarding RSI? Sir, uh, I have a query. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, I would like to ask that uh, in case of overbought and oversold, if the day is overbought or oversold, but the week is uh, like uh, it's much below that. Then what should we do? Or right. in case of week is oversold, but for the month it is much below that. Very correct. Now see each and every time, each and every time, when we start talking about the technicals, we have to have take a look on the bigger time frame. So here we are watching on a daily basis. So I am going to mark one straight vertical line in these particular price points where the RSI is 70 or 72 and start declining downside. Now, some technicals, they are not bothering about multi time frames. Now, definitely by only seeing the values, they are going to be set off. Yes, the stock price fall, fall a bit, but give a very, very big return after that. So here is the very catchy part. If we convert the daily chart into the weekly, there is no indications. It is already entered into our mind. 
over what territory? It can go further upside. If we enter into the monthly, so monthly is also good. So whatever may be, whatever may be the time frames are, we are going to check the bigger time frame. And we can take the farm decision. Correct. So if the daily is in overbought, but in, in weekly, it is very close to 50 and still tilting upward. So every dip can be my buying opportunity. Madam, clear? Yes, sir. Very clear. Thank you so much. So this is the formulations uh, behind the RSI. It is basically an advanced indicator where the formula is RSI equals to 100 minus within the parenthesis 100 by 1 plus RS. So RS means what? The average of X days up close divided by average of X days down close. So here in the RSI part, we are considered the 14 days time value means if average within the span of 14 days, if the average days are up closing, then definitely the value of the RSI must increase. And if the majority of the day, the value closed below the previous closes, then definitely the value of the RS has become negative. So this is the basic calculation process for the RSI. Any query anyone have? Now we are coming into another oscillators, which is very, very similar to the RSI. And the name of the oscillator is stochastic. So the stochastic oscillator compares when a security price closed relative to its trading range over the last X time period. The formula for the percent K parameter of the stochastic is, that is today's closing price minus lowest low divided by highest high minus highest low. So I think it is better if we are uh, going to plot it into the picture and find it out how it works out. So here we have two, two lines. One is referred as percent K period. Another is referred as the percent D. So in our previous softwares, uh, why the percent D is uh, referred as because on those softwares, percent D will come up with a dotted price. So I'm going to apply. And the overbought and oversold is 20 and 80. In RSI, what we have? 70 and 30. Now we are going to apply this. So whenever, so the green line is nothing but a percent K and the red line is nothing but a percent D. When the green line crosses percent D towards upward movement, the buy call initiated. Like here can be, this can be a buy call. So if it is a buy call, if it is a buy call, then definitely this must be a sell call. This must be a sell call. So by only using these kind of pictures, not the uh, theorems, anyone can take trades if he or she know how to tackle the trades. Correct. So anyone have any query regarding uh, the stochastics? Anyone, any query? 
So, can we say that these indicators uh, are like more reliable or the the previous indicators that you have discussed in the last session they are like more reliable ma'am uh, that can be a mix and match of two correct say for example your rsi is 50 and tilting upwards correct but at the same time in the price part we have seen a complete distribution bar whether it will work out whether it will work out ma'am yes sir say for example ma'am i am just repeating the question once again the rsi give us a buy signal correct and on the same day this candle formation is happened now see so red candle say for example here a red candle and this this is a so can we anticipate the stock price will uh, go further upside definitely not as because at the top the distribution is already over so if we are going to mix and match the indicators along with the price points then only we can get a very very good result okay sir so like sir we can say that in the terms of formulating the individual uh, what i can say trading strategies then we can use the mix and match of both yes, yes ma'am first we have to enter with the trends then we have seen the a b c d e that we have uh, learned last day correct then we are going to plot the indicator or oscillators if majority of the topics will suggest us okay it is a good opportunity to buy they are only we can buy okay sir Sir, but these oscillators, so I am finding a bit like uh, more of the like calculative part because already the range and all things are being decided up. Yes. If you see the uh, oscillators very carefully, so oscillator never, never ever breach their barricades, correct? So sometime, depends on the time frames, sometimes the stock went up, Sometimes it will come down. Sometimes it will enter into a sideways movement. But as long we are going to shift the time frames, the os oscillators or the indicators can tell us a very very good points that when and where we are going to buy and sell. Nothing else. After all, the train lines are main. The last day, uh, you know, sir asked me uh, which one you follow. I'm simply asked. Okay, fine. I'm only following the price. Is because the price is the thing where the indicators and oscillators are going to be created. Yes, sir. Now, another indicators. Rather a very, very good indicator. Here, each and every every time frame, we can get the target, we can get the stop losses without doing giving zero effort. So the name is what the Bollinger band. It's a John Bollinger basically. He invented this theorem. And he make it very simple. He simply put 20 day simple moving average. And he considered the plus two standard deviation and plus minus two standard deviation over that. And it really works like brilliantly. So we are going to import the Bollinger bonds, Bollinger bands, remove study, so sub studies.
So right now only we have RSI and only we have the prices. Now, technical independent study and Bollinger Bands. So the period is 20 and the standard deviation is 2. And the type of the moving average is simple. And now we are going to apply. So as we have come to know, the moving average can act as a support as well as the moving average can act as a resistance. So here, the mid line is nothing but my 20 days simple moving average. And the green line is plus 2SD and the blue line is minus 2SD. Means we are going to get the ranges. When, when the stock price is able to give a close, above my 20 day moving average. So definitely my next target must be plus two SD. And if you see the right hand side the top, there was AVG, UB and LV. AVG stands for the average and that average is what? That average is nothing but a 20 day simple moving average. And the UP means what? The upper band. So upper band is what? Plus two SD. And the blue one is what? The lower band means minus two SD. So if anyone take a buy position above 2611, which is the 20 day moving average value. So definitely that man can prefix the target at 2739 because that was the upper band. Whenever a stock is able to break your 20 day moving average means what? Now the moving average can act as a resistance. So the downside target can be minus 2SD. If in this situation, if any uh, trader sell their stocks below 2635, then definitely the target must be very close to 2504. And if you see, here's the target. In this day, we'll touch. Correct. Any queries? Anyone else? No queries? No, sir. So this part is very, very important and uh, which I follow actually. You pay your money, you pay your money and take the chances. Until unless we are very pretty sure. So please, how, uh, how can we sell in daily time frame? Okay, in derivative we can do. Otherwise, if we are holding a stock in our demand, definitely we can sell it up from demand and we can opt for buying at the lower prices. Any more queries? Anyone have?
सो सुदीप तो सर यू गॉट योर आंसर सो लास्ट डे सो एनी सर इज आस्किंग अबाउट द लास्ट डे कैंडल स्टिक करेक्ट Yes, I was asking, sort of to quote, sort of, sort of, sir. Ah, yes, I was asking about candlestick. So come into fifteen minutes because we have very close to fifteen minutes in our end. Very short time for a two vast subject actually. Yes, yes, sir. That I know also. Because yesterday I was so interested. and i was i thought i thought that i will invest in stock sir sir but well, now again i get yeah, when i have to i need practice actually you yes, just sir. you said yes sir it it uh, require lot uh, of and i cannot be dishonest to myself actually very correct sir very correct very when correct i actually i i yesterday i praised you for that actually even in your feedback form even in the group thank you sir now uh, coming back into the uh, single candlestick pattern correct doji uh, if we enter into doji means whether high and close are very equal or can be very nearby and whatever we have learned in our bar chart or the ohlc so this is nothing but our e correct yes so there is no discrimination in between ohlc and our candlestick pattern only the visuality part is a bit changed so should i change doji as yes, because we have a uh, discuss a lot on the last day session in uh, our ohlc and this is basically lying uh, our uh, e category yes so this is very very important if ever we found a doji after a very good rally means what again a indecisive part is going to be created so we can simply put two lines at the upper and the lower in which way the stock price is willing to breached we are with the with the only that side so in my example in this example the lowest part is going to be breached means what the buying interest of the buyers are no more so it can be a alarming trigger for the buyers to get out of the stocks but if the doji is appeared at the bottom definitely the vice versa will happen means once it is able to break the high the new upside can be seen now here the second point is a long leg doji long leg doji if we see the pictures carefully sir this is nothing but our accumulation and distribution correct yes C so and D, yeah. very correct, sir. C and D means these are the areas where the market is knocking us for either buying or selling, as because now the trend is going to be reverse. Yeah. Correct. Should I change, sir? Yes. So if at the top the long leg doji will appear. means already the distribution part is clear last day we are uh, considering the volume trying to mix with the volume part and we are analyzing how the small player get trapped at the higher prices followed by a pure selling and if you see the picture carefully the same thing happened here also so if this long leg doji will appear at the top we need to be get out and here it is the same thing also if it is appear at the bottoms means what we are going to buy
sir please write a note if these kind of things is ever you know noticeable in any company's shirt a long leg doji followed by a doji next day the price is able to break the high then definitely a new rally can be seen so again i am uh, repeating the word first day long leg doji next day followed by a doji third day the price is able to break the high then a new trend can be established but it will only establish a trend if this kind of long leg doji followed by a doji will appear at the bottom side or very near by to the bottom then only should i change so this is basically the hammer or the inverted hammer very close to our c and d this is referred as marubuzu marubuzu means what a big body with out shadow or can be a very small shadow colors are important means what the strong determinations of the buyer and the sellers can be reflected so it signifies that both buyers and sellers are strong in either or side very often we can see the marubuzu kind of patterns in the charts so if we are going to draw the marubuzu on a ohlc then definitely the line will the ohlc will be look like this that is our a bar and in the red side that can be our b bar where we have referred the pure buying and pure selling clear yes so whenever uh, we are uh, seeing this kind of marubuzu whether it is a red then definitely we can opt for selling whether it is a blue or unfilled we can opt for buying it can be taken in a swing trades it can be taken in intraday trades it can take in a positional trade whatever may be the time frames for the trades this can be beneficial to all of all type of traders or swing traders or investors now we are coming into the double uh, candlestick pattern and this candlestick pattern basically i preferred most this is a engulfing candle so the engulfing candle can be either bullish or bearish so the first candle can be a very small candle and the second candles low is greater than greater than the first day's low and the second day's high is greater than the first day high so which is nothing but a outside bar last day we have talked about the outside bar correct yes yes and in the vice versa if the first day is a blue day second day is a red day means what the entire sellers are engulfed the buyers means what it will come down so even an extreme left picture is denoting the pure buying or strong demand in the market until and unless these price points are going to be breached once it is going to be breached so this candle the value of this candle is nowhere
another candlestick pattern the piercing line piercing line means what the fast candle the fast candle thread candle so i think if i come up with the values it can be more easier say for example the red candle the stock opened at 100 so opening price high at 101 close at 98 with a low of 96 next day at 915 this is my opening price that is 93 so previous day's closing was what 96 and today's opening was 93 come a bit downside at 91 and able to give a close at 97.5 or 98 say for example whenever from a lower gap down opening any stock or any index is able to cover up more than 50% of the first day's candle means what the enthusiasm of the buyers are at the huge side means the fall but if the stocks are falling the, they, we can see a pause on fall strong demand can be seen until and unless the stock price is able to break and close below 93 we can anticipate the stock price can go further upside any queries anyone have no query so the quite opposite of the piercing line is dark cloud cover means first day a blue candle next day it's open above the above closing the first day and already covered 50% of the previous day's candle means a strong supply can be seen in this zone from in this from this zone means this can be a very very classic buyer trap and the buyers get trapped at the higher prices and the stock price starts declining downside any query Sir, yes. Uh, if uh, this uh, piercing line and dark cloud cover cases, suppose uh, let us talk about the first one in piercing line case. Uh, there is we can see the gap down opening in the yes. second candle. What if it uh, uh, opens in gap up but happens the same, having fifty percent cover of the first candle? Then will it uh, denote so, the same thing? No. then it can be treated as inside as because it is now see if you see this candlestick and if you close your eyes and think about the bars this is a down bar correct okay now if it is so for example it's open at 99 and able to give a closing at 100 or very nearby okay so it can be a inside candle yes it can be inside candle but if the closing is higher than the previous day's high then then all then it is become a engulf candle but it is gapping up it is opening up gap so uh, will it be engulfing candle no, engulfing no. means the total not engulfing, not, engulf, not engulfing actually okay okay but as because the highs the previous day's highs are breached and the price is able to give the closing at the higher side okay what a strong demand can be seen 
Okay. Okay. Then it will be also positive. Yes. Then, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Got it. Any other questions? Yes. Sir, good evening. Very good evening, sir. Uh, sir, the session is very interesting, uh, but uh, how it would be effective to the investors, potential investors, because uh, for everybody is not possible to understand this candle. But uh, so for the potential investors, how it would be beneficial if you could light, uh, give some lights, it will be very much effective. Now, see, sir, uh, basically, this candle can occur in different, different time frames. It can occur in a daily time frame. It can be a weekly, it can be a monthly, as well as it can be hourly also. So from the investor perspective, they can only consider the trends, the support and the resistance along with a 50 and or 100 and 200 combinations of both moving averages and they can okay. plot the charts. Okay. Once the price is able to breach both of the lines, correct. then only we can enter and we can hold it for two to three months also. Sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Got it. Got it, sir. Thank you. So, uh, any queries anyone have, please? Uh, sir, you have shown us several type of indicators today, and all of are quite interesting. But uh, if I ask you, in your experience, which one you use more and which one you, you think is more reliable? What is your personal view? My personal... So... That indicator is not into the PPT actually, but still I like to share the name. Uh, that is Average Directional Index, ADX, and which I prefer most. Okay, sir. Because so that particular indicator have a very complex uh, in between. So in a very early stage of this kind of studies, I don't think so. This can be very, very easily co-capable with all of us. It's, it's, it's okay, you sir. That you also look at, uh, but you, I asked similar question, but you said that you look uh, almost all the things and then you find which, what is the majority of the trend shows it. You said that. Basically, firstly, if we are going to narrate the entire session, what is the steps? First, identify the trend. Then put a moving average on that. Then for confirmatory part, we are going to see the type of the bars or candles. Then definitely followed by the volume, you can execute the price. And for the oscill uh, oscillators and the indicators, whatever we are going to be used, those are for only for the confirmatory part, alarm, alerting part. Correct. Okay, I understand. So, uh, uh, sir, one more question, if I am not interrupting you. No, no, it's fine. fine, fine. Okay. Uh, um, it is very difficult for us to picking up uh, our uh, our price action uh, signals. Like if you want to, if I want to find out a positive or say ne a negative type, type of trend, a type of signal, uh, ent entry point I am finding. So there are lots of number of um, stocks are there so it is very difficult for us to scan all those things so how can i uh, the lower last, the number of the last stocks? day i have coming up with the uh, same thing correct uh, today also i'm going yeah you, you have you have shown us a software uh, the, that in, with that software you have set up few scans in your name uh, that that's what you have shown in last class as much as, as i can remember yes, 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 yes. Uh, now the fact is, if uh, as a newbie, we want to use those type of things, uh, it will be very easy for us because it is very difficult to find out, say, 1800 number of stocks very scanning true. by manually. So you are scanning it. So how can we uh, do that? So there are no other ways. Uh, one way we can write the codes on the software. Correct. Otherwise, we have to check manually and which is very, very next to absurd. Yes, sir. Uh, in a very uh, other way, uh, one thing can be done, correct? We can narrow the list according to our choices of stocks. Like say, for example, ACC from the cement pack, correct? Okay, okay. 
uh, Asian paints from the uh, paint pack. So if we are one or two stocks, if we are going to select from each and every industry, then the number of the stocks has become 35, 40, max to max. If, okay. And those are the very prominent companies rather. So if we are going to check, that can be done, but at least we have to sit with uh, at least two hours in our with our hand. Then only we can get possible. Yes, that is also quite huge time. Yes. Uh, can yes. you yes. Can, can you can can you refer us any uh, software which is which is much available for us and any ideas about how much it does the cost where they are available? Uh, you can get the meta stock correct. You can get the meta stock. Okay. There is a basically it's a free software. Okay. Uh, but you have to buy the data. There are lots of vendors in net. Okay. Those are providing the EOD data, end of the day data. Okay. Not that not tick by tick data. Okay. So you can take that part and you can see the performances. Okay, so how much does it cost uh, approximately in a month? Approximately or... uh, max to max, max to max, it will cost 4,000 rupees per year. 4,000 rupees per year. Okay. Sir, so its maybe... name is Meta, Meta Stock, sir, you have told? Yes. Okay. And sir, the one which you were being using, uh, like where you were being showing the live charts. Yes, that, so Ma'am, that was uh, TX3. I will again uh, type, uh, type the name. Uh, you can got the TXC with absolutely free prices. Uh, those are uh, those are our uh, BIL students in uh, BBA. They all have the softwares. Correct. TX3. Yes. You can uh, search it on the Google website. You can download it. Only you have to give your mobile number. Uh, OTP will come and your software is ready. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay, now, if, if I want to buy something or sell something, then of course, we no, you can't do as because uh, you are just only uh, taking it as a viewing purpose, correct? Okay. okay, for that, you need to open the account with the TX2 provider, okay. and the name of the bro uh, broker's name is very renowned uh, broker, is Edelweiss. Okay, so it is uh, the platform is uh, provided by Edelweiss, where uh, we have seen from last two days the software, the chartings, and all. So if I'm not going to open with the accounts, no issues on that. Still, you can see the uh, real-time data in different different time frames. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, any other queries? Otherwise, uh, I have to hand it over it. Uh, sir, uh, yes, there yes, were sir. so many things uh, in these three sessions. And like uh, when we got to know all these together, it was a bit tough for many of us. So can we have your personal number or mail ID, sir? It would be great if this is available. Because in other FDPs also, like uh, we come across this information, at least the mail ID. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So mail ID, okay, fine. I'm putting my mail ID. I'm sure many of us are really willing to get this. Uh, so, so is uh, really there is uh, some other uh, sir or madam present here? Is the same question something like this? Thirty queries will come uh, actually when we start <laughs> doing all these things. So I think what what madam has also said, if uh, we can have your email ID. Okay, so because uh, when we are doing the theory, we are getting it, uh, just knowing this, it seems we have learned, but uh, it doing it practically, we will feel the now it <laughs> is for very, that. Very, very true, very true. <laughs> so more and more we will practice, more and more uh, new, new things come into your mind. We can uh, create some new things in uh, maybe in our upcoming days, and hopefully the program can be a successful one. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for sharing your email ID. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, I have one more question. Yes. Uh, you said that MetaStock is free. Uh, where from? Where can I download it? 
uh, you can download it uh, just a minute let me check just just a minute So first, I will show you the TXT part from where we can download and definitely followed by the, once I click on TXT download, this thing will appear, this screen. It is www.adelwise.in.txt. Once we have click, the site will open the Edelweiss page. Now we have to click for download equities. Download for equities. The exe file will download it and then we can extract it and run the software. And the second part is Metastock free download full version. So you can download this Metastock Professional 11.0 download free trial. And uh, if anyone is interested to take the Metastock EXE, uh, please uh, write in group to Subayu. Definitely, we, I will take care. No issues. Thank you very much, sir. This will be very much helpful. Um, I have one more query if you are not yes. uh, getting annoyed. Uh, sir, if I download it and install it, you said we need the end of the session data. So yes, end of the data. How, how, how to acquire that? So for that, you have to uh, find a data provider each and every day after 6.30 p.m. Uh, the downloader part is there if, you, if I show my screen, so for example. Yes, that will be very much helpful. Just Say, so for example, this is the downloader of the Metastock, correct? So each and every vendor have their own own uh, logos. So once we had downloaded it up, it will automatically put it into the sequence for equity segment, for the derivative segment, for the world market, and we can see it up. But uh, you have to have buy the downloader it's not only by rent basically a yearly rent of four thousand bucks max to max some okay. provider will provide you one three thousand rupees also okay so i have to search in google the downloader for meta stock uh, if that way things is uh if you are facing any problem you write into the group so why is there definitely he will pass on to me i okay, will send the link and all Thank you very much, sir. This Thank session you. is uh, very, very interesting. And we are very, very grateful to you for this large knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir.